Wacky. What is Wacky? That is a developed uh. boiled duck embryo uh. that already has bones and feathers. I, I think I can't eat that. That is weird. Try to react five wacky things about Filipino culture. Wacky? What is wacky? Wacky. What is wacky? Wacky. Ah, it's kind of crazy? Crazy things? Wacky. The Philippines is an amazing country amazing and I spent nearly a year of my life here. As an American, the culture shock in the Philippines is less extreme than most places in Asia, like Japan <laughs> or Tajikistan <laughs> because Everyone can speak fluent English. Mm. That being said, Yes, that's why I are so planning to go there to study English. Your head, like eating sweet spaghetti with red hot dogs and replacing toilet paper with buckets of water. So now I present you with the top five about Filipino culture. Number one, balut. So we just came across balut, balut which is a Filipino treat. Balut is a popular street snack that is a developed uh, boiled duck embryo uh, that already has <laughs> bones and feathers. I, I think I can't eat that. That is weird. I can just about eat anything in the world, and I pretty much have. This is called a century egg. It's a really old like, preserved egg. But balut is one of the hardest things to swallow. Number two, social media obsessed. It is real bird. You might be thinking, Drew, isn't everyone obsessed with social media these days? Well, yes, but no other nation is even close to using social media as much as Filipinos do, particularly Facebook. They're on it all day long. In fact, uh, they use Facebook all day so long. That they've earned the title of social networking capital of the world and on the uh, same note one selfie is never enough number three filipino time oh, filipino time supposed to be here in five days. yes already late already late right already late what hey where are you i'm already on my way most island <laughs> countries will claim to have their own lazy time on my way but he is his home in other words, <laughs> being late here means being early. Sometimes I feel like they do it on purpose. But then again, traffic is a nightmare. Look at this. You see this behind me? If you tell someone oh. to meet for dinner at 8, then you can expect them at 8.45 or 9. Number four, spoon and fork only. Most of the world, to my knowledge, uses a knife and a fork to eat if they're not using chopsticks or their hands. Spoons are only used for eating soups or desserts. But in the Philippines, spoons are used as both a spoon and a knife, using the sharp edge to cut meat you will almost always oh, be served this a not a wacky Rarely things a knife. number five nosy people if you know me or seen any of my videos about the philippines Welcome to then you know how much i love the people here as i've said many times filipinos are the friendliest people in the world mm, but yes i think or so as a foreigner they will ask me so many questions simply because they are curious to know and they aren't shy to be overly direct drew you don't look well Drew, I think it gained weight. Please do not uh, mistake this video as a negative one. It was made out of pure good intentions. I love this country more than any other, and I just wanted to share some of my perspective with you. Number one, we are. Filipino culture. Balut is a popular street snack. Balut? Balut? Balut is a popular street snack. That is a developed. Uh, 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 it's so weird. Developing boiled duck embryo that already has bones and feathers. Oh, already have a bones and feathers? Oh my god. I can just about eat anything in the world, and I pretty much have. This is called this. This is called a century egg. Century egg? It's a really old, like, preserved egg. But balut is one of the hardest things to swallow. Ooh. Ooh, it looks like. Oh, 